Hey guys, welcome back to Kelly Glam 13. Today's look is inspired by fall foliage, aka uh, how the leaves look in the fall when they're changing their colors from green to orange, red, yellow, all of that. Um, I didn't incorporate all of those colors. I did manage to bring in some green on the inner third of my eye and some coppery uh, reddish tones and browns um, just to give the look a very fall look. And on my lips, I'm wearing a mauve pink and I didn't like how it looked at the end so I ended up just taking NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk and just uh, applying it to the middle of my lips and then blurring out um, the edges on the inside um, just to give it a nice ombre look. And why are our trucks outside <laughs> making noise? Every time, every time, every time. Anyway, um, and then I have my little, uh, I don't know what's going on up here. My, We're just going to ignore that, whatever. Um, so if you guys want to know how I got this look, just keep watching. Okay, so first I'm starting off with this CupGirl Smoothers Concealer and I'm applying it to my lids just as a primer and then I'm going to be blending that out with my finger. I'm using this Physicians Formula uh, Argan Oil and Coconut Water Primer and I'm spraying my eyeshadow brush and dipping it right into that coppery orange red tone <laughs> eyeshadow and I'm applying it right to the outer third of my eye um, just into my crease a little bit um, and making it a little sharp because I want it to emulate the shape of a leaf and that's why I have the tape on. taking it into the inner half or inner third of my eye. I'm just slightly blending it over the middle, like the center of my eyelid, just so that it can blend easily a little bit later. Then I'm taking that rusty brown shimmery shade right next to it and applying it right over top, but not to the very edge of where I applied it because I still want that color to show through. very small shader brush for precision. So I grabbed this black shimmery shade and I applied it to my lash line, but not all the way in to the inner third, just on the outer third where the rusty brown colors are. And now I'm just taking the tape off and I'm going to work on my face next. I decided to spot conceal because I am breaking out. Um, and I have to say that this particular method before applying my foundation really helped a lot.
I decided to give this Milani foundation a third chance um, and I mixed it with another foundation and it actually worked really really well. So I pumped it onto the back of my hand and mixed it with this Rimmel Lasting Finish 25 hour foundation and I just mixed it together in my hand and then applied it with a flat top kabuki brush. applying that same CoverGirl concealer I used before and this is just to cancel out my darkness I'm going to blend it out with my finger and then go in with the Maybelline Age Rewind and the shade Brightener just to highlight right under my eyes. at my under eye concealer, I'm just using this translucent powder from NYC. To set the rest of my face, I'm using this Physicians Formula Mineral Wear Loose Powder and a fluffy brush from Real Technique. I'm going to be using this Physicians Formula Bronzing Powder in Light Bronze Pearl and applying that right into the contours of my cheeks. Now I'm going in with the CoverGirl Cheekers Blush in Sierra Sands. And since this blush is a little shimmery on its own, I am not going to be applying highlighter. I'm going back in with that fluffy brush just to blend everything out. Now I'm just going to do my brows and I'm going to be using this Wet n Wild Brow Kit. And I'm using both the shades in the palette to create my brow. taking this smudge brush and just applying all the colors that I used on my eyelid and I'm applying them to my lower lash line. apply mascara to my upper lashes and my lower lashes. I'm taking the Jordana Retractable Lip Liner in Tawny and just lining my lips with it. And then I'm going to be using the Youngblood 
lipstick in Smolder and applying that to my lips. not liking how the color came out. It was a little too dark for me, so I decided to take the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, and I started at the center of my lips, blending towards the inside of my lips. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial with this fall foliage look. And please like, subscribe, share, comment, all the works. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!